probably say this every time, but this will be a relatively quick video and a fake boxing on opening because I've already opened it. All right, so I've been using this WRSI helmet for years now. Works fine. Uh, shoot, I can't tell you how long I've had it. Uh, it's got a nice little visor on. It's not a bad little helmet. What I've never really liked was it, the way it feels when you're wearing it. And I do, it's kind of hard to see in there. No, you really can't see in there. Just, there's padding, but it's just not really super comfortable. Uh, it does have the nice visor. And I haven't used them, but I do have them. The ear covers, they're still, they're put away. So, I picked up this sweet protection rocker helmet and I will say this helmet here is about three times as much as this one but the newer ones like this this is about just under twice as much and I put all the packing back on just so I could surprise you guys so came with some instructions for putting on the visor we even see this let me try some here there that's a little better some instructions for putting on the visor and then it comes with the whole fit pad kit and without breaking it open the it looks like I didn't have to use any I was able to tighten up the back strap a little bit and it fit me nicely but when I'm looking at the instructions, they're like so small. And even when I, when I went online to see if they were any better, uh, they really need if they would make their instructions just a little bigger, or at least the ones online that you can download because it's kind of hard to see what they're trying to tell you to do. But it's a very nice helmet. So it came, the bill or the hood here was not installed. I had to install it. One thing I don't like about it, and I'm not really sure yet if it's even going to matter, is this one you could kind of tilt up and down. Not that it really ever made a difference. This one here, you screw in, and then it has like a thumb screw up here that you set. Once you set it, it's pretty much done. You can't loosen, if you loosen the thumb screw up and go to adjust this visor, these screws don't have a washer or anything. I put it in the way it came. They don't have a washer, so not having a washer, the when you move this, it moves the screw and loosens everything up. But these have has the ear protection built in. What's nice is it's got an actual, this one here was the strap in the back is actually part of the webbing and you had to pull it all the way around and tighten it up. And let me turn this light back on. I've been doing these in the garage and the lighting out here is just not the best for this. That's a little better. Eh, not really. Let's turn it back off and wait. There you go. So anyhow, the strap here in the back is adjusted by these straps. So you pull it in, you tighten it up. This one here has a nice clicker adjustment and I was able just to use these and it fit me fine. It's got these little bumpy things on the back. I have absolutely no idea what the heck they're for. They're there. It, maybe it's to cover up something they had to do in molding this or whatever. I don't know, but I really have no idea what the heck those could be for. When I first saw it online, I thought this was like ventilation, but it's actually just cut out so you can see the carbon fiber. This helmet actually weighs, and this has, I don't know if it would, how much it would change if it had the ear pads, but this one weighs just a little bit less than this helmet. But because this helmet comes down, the shape of it's a little different, it just feels more balanced. And the big difference, is this helmet here is like so comfortable it's crazy unbelievable how comfortable this helmet is night and day difference 
this helmet makes this helmet here feel like you're wearing a box on your head. And that's not even close to over an exaggeration. So, yeah, this is way more money, but if you're going to wear it all day, the comfort level is far much there. Also, this one here has, and you can't see it. Gosh, one of these days I'm going to get some lights. I still really can't see it because it's all black in there. Sorry about the light thing. Uh, this one really has no ventilation or anything on the inside. This one, there's a vent right down in here in it, and then there's one on the other side that give you a little bit of space up into the upper part of the helmet, so you get a little bit more airflow around your head at least. Now, it did come with this nice bag to put it in. The only problem is, is when you put the bill on, this bag gets super small for it. It pulls up, but it's like super tight, and it's, I don't want to, you could get it to finish, you think. For the money, though, they would give you a little thing on here that would lock it closed. So what I'm actually doing is, my old bag, is actually bigger, and I think it fits the helmet a little better. So I'm going to use this bag, and it actually came with a little pull down so it all locks up. So and that's about it on this. One last thing I'll show you, and it's just something I'm throwing around because what I've always found, let's get all this out of the way, is when I don't want to wear it, it's like, oh, and half the reason I'm doing this video is because I've been saving that box to do the video, so now I can throw it away. Uh, is where there's no way really to nicely mount or mount but to stow this when I'm not wearing it on the deck or on my head so I'm gonna I found these online it's like a bungee cord net and I'm gonna do some modifications to it and also actually I'm gonna do some deck line change ups on my boat anyhow but I want to try to find a way that I can actually make this where I can bungee this down to the back deck like that and use this to hold the uh, helmet so it's not this one here I used to just take it and uh, carabine it to the deck line but what ended up happening is half the time it'd be in the water dragging on one side of the boat so I'm trying to get past that but I'm thinking this might be an alternative and I've seen this is like 15 inches by 15 inches and I've seen some other ones that were just a little smaller. Uh, I think these might be somewhat useful for those people in sit on tops and uh, just or like day paddlers that put a bunch of stuff on their decks because they don't really have a, a hull space or a seal compartment to put stuff in. You can bungee cord this down and pull it over whatever you're dealing with. But, and I'm not a fan of putting stuff on the deck, believe me. But when we're going out surfing or whatever, playing around that I actually need a helmet, it's not like I'm camping or and I'm not caring. This would be like basically the only thing on my deck. So, but I'm just thinking that a few, and I actually got some more. Actually, I got these are, if you've ever seen my other videos, the Night Eyes little plastic carabiners. I use these to hold the... Uh, labels on all my dry bags and stuff when we're camping so we know what's in them but i found a deal on them these are like usually a buck fifty a piece or something like that i found like 10 of them for six dollars on uh amazon but it didn't give you a choice of color of course they show up they're all pink so i'm probably going to use those just to make my kayak look a little cooler and so everybody knows that i'm pc all right, just a quick one. I know that drag down wasn't quick at all, but this is a really nice helmet. Sweep protection, shocker, or rocker helmet. I don't know why I want to say shocker, but comfort level, all tens. This thing is just like cush on your head. Oh, I know one last thing. Just like on a motorcycle helmet, uh, 
your helmet re manufacturers recommend that you know if you actually crash and this becomes hit there's no way to verify that it wasn't damaged or if this does get damaged in a wreck uh, they actually give you 40% off a new one so they're not going to replace it for free but 40% off the list price at that time for the replace the helmet I don't know if you have to send it to them or whatever but that seems pretty nice for the company to do I think that's like one of those stand up things but super nice all right, now I can get rid of all this packaging. Have a great day. Remember, if you catch this, you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Check out other videos. Uh, click the like if you liked it. Uh, leave a comment, even if it's a comment on asking a question about something completely different. I'm trying to find more subscribers. If you have friends, please tell them about my channel. All right, thanks. Have a great day.